Yes, the, ch- the yes, I am. <laughs> I have the trapper face. Also, let me change this color to something else real fast. Brb. There we go. Yes, trapper face. Zen, have you seen the trapper face? Maybe. <laughs> they recently yeah, maybe. showed what trapper looks like under the mask, and it's. Oh, he, that's. He looks like the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy, right? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know his name. I know that the guy's name is Dave Batista, but I don't know what the character's <laughs> name. Because I like wrestling, so. Congrats on Red Wing School Shanks. Yes. yes. Uh, I've not noticed Iron Chuckles glitch. What is that? Drax, yeah. That's who I'm thinking of. That's who that's who maskless trapper reminds me of. Speaking of, we're going to be talking about uh, Trapper today, and for those who are new, uh, this podcast, what Zen and I do, is <clears throat> pick a killer and discuss how we believe the survivors would fare under horror movie conditions. And we we pick our final survivor, or or ers, however many there happen to be, there have been two before. Um, we decide who's going to die first, and then from there we just run down a whole list of all the survivors and the order of, like, most likely to die, how they die, and to the further down they live longer. I actually have a couple, like, I actually made myself a nice little list on the side of uh, who I think's going to go down first and who might actually make it this time, because nice. I actually had kind of like a ballpark idea on this guy. Good. I don't have an idea of who's going to go down first. I know who I want to make it to the end. And I am willing to fight you on this one, if you disagree with me. And that is because I have discovered that you are grounded in survivalist logic. And I am here for the movie drama. So. Well, let's. Well, let's start our dead talk off by actually talking about our killer first before we Perfect. get into who he's going to kill first. Okay. Because who knows? Maybe maybe we find a uh, very specific lore that's like, uh, yeah, I guess I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> um, so you you let off last time, so I'll I'll, I'll do it this time. Go for it. Um. So. And yes, Michael, I have, have seen a, that glitch. Uh, Hello, Titan. from the McMillan family. Uh seems to have a tendency to enjoy luring people into confined spaces and using explosives um was one of the biggest mass murders uh in the lore and vanished after um said uh, said mass murdering um and also his dad was found in a basement so that's the that's where basement trapper was born um, <laughs> The big thing that I noticed is that he really likes to sketch, uh, really enjoys drawing, and sees it as an act of defiance. Um, He's an artist. Also, this kid had a like had a good heart starting off. Like, you, if you look at the video, um, the cutscene with him, you can see him actually like working in the mine with everybody else, mm-hmm. and then stopping and looking through the the wood and seeing his dad just beating the crap out of somebody. And then waking up in his bed and he's got a bandaged fist like he's also been beating them. Um, so yeah, he actually had a, a pretty good heart when he when he was younger. Uh, it was more or less raised to have kind of a bad thought process. Um, didn't have his mom around because his mom drowned. Hmm. Um, but he does have a tendency to feel indebted to people which I think is he gets a little bit confused with indebted versus love um, because that's like he feel he respects his dad and sometimes he thinks about offing his dad, but he's like, no, 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 I, I owe him. Relatable. I love him. And it's like, mm, do you though? <laughs> Relatable. We've all been there. Um, there was an instance where somebody insulted his mom and he attacked them. And I was like, oh, good. We're going to have a Martha situation here. <laughs> um, so uh, it was at that point that he realized that he really likes to feel powerful. Uh, also has a natural instinct 
when someone is hiding something, like he can kind of figure out that something is is amiss or somebody's planning something. Like he's just got this instinct that he inherited uh, from his dad. Mm -hmm. He does not like cowards and he does not like those goddamn commies, uh, socialists, unions, etc. He does not like them because that's what his daddy told him. Yes. Uh, and then there was a very small piece in Tome 3 that mentioned that the entity is having issues with him because he does not comply with authority, even the entity. Interesting. Doesn't I missed like that it. piece. This is yeah, because even... I saw I saw that one and I'm like bolded, underlined, highlighted. <laughs> that's great. Does uh, not like authority. That's great. Even better for some plans that I have. Okay. What did, What did you get? What did I get? As far as like, what did I miss? Or what did what did I? Yeah. Is find? there is there anything that I missed that you have down? I th no. I think you nailed pretty much everything. Um. Oh. Uh. He's. I think he was actually suspicious of his dad killing his mom. Like I know his mom drowned, but if I remember right, in one of the tome pieces, like he had some suspicions that like his father was the one that drowned his mom. I don't remember which one. And I also could just be making this up entirely. Like, if I speak confidently enough, I know you'll believe me. But, uh... Hold on one second. <laughs> I got a raid. Oh. Hi, Lindsay! <laughs> Hello, raiders! Welcome! A Legion raid! Hi! How did your stream go? I hope it was well. I'm doing a podcast right now with uh, Zen Batman. And we are talking about um, if the survivors were in horror movie settings, how would they fare against the trapper? We just got started. <laughs> uh, we were just rehashing like the trapper's backstory and who he is. Do you follow the little stream? I don't know if I follow Lindsay. Hold on, let me double check. Make sure I do follow Lindsay. Because I know I, if I don't, I meant to. I don't, but I do now. Okay. <laughs> the sounds of your games weren't great, but I hope your podcast is going. To My podcast is going really well. And Wu Tang Boy, hi. They all die except the last character. Exactly. Well, we did have when we covered Huntress. We had two survivors, which was really yeah. fun. And Verna, thank you for that follow. All right. Yeah, I thought I was already following you, Lindsay. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm glad this happened, so now I made sure that I was. So Dwight would make it, because he got big brain. <laughs> we haven't had one yet where Dwight actually lives. So yeah, that, Dwight keeps that, getting just wrecked. Dwight gets, like, the most unfortunate deaths, unfortunately. I mean, at least redundancy didn't, is redundant. Didn't the potty death. That was, that was kind of uh, sad for Claudette, but, you was. know. He should have. He's always the one in the outhouse. <laughs> okay so uh um, so you mentioned that you think he was suspicious of his dad possibly killing his mom i feel like i remember that when i was going through all the tomes i don't remember him saying he was suspicious i do know that uh one of his drawings that he made was like trapper drew his mom drowning yes and when he came upstairs, like, all of his drawings were torn up, and the one of his mom drowning was missing, and his dad took it, framed it, and put it above his bed. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. Wait, I suspect could... his dad for killing his mom. I think dad well, I mean, drowned mom. I could also see him being like, Balrog, dude, come on. Um... <laughs> I could also see him, like, putting that above his bed is like, ha ha, killed her. Like, like not so much a, an endearment, but like, uh, you know, a, a notch in a bedpost for another reason. Mm -hmm. um, we are not including perks. We're going strictly by character backstories and personality. Yes. So... Having gotten all that information, uh, let's see who we're thinking is uh, is going to be first dead. Hit me, hit me with your reasoning. I'm ready for your logic. 
I don't really have a first dead. There wasn't anybody that I was like, this person will die first. Um, uh, all right. It's gonna, like, it would have to be somebody that's just oblivious and not really paying attention. Someone like Meg. A Meg and would go first. Detective Tap. A detective? <laughs> Number one, Trapper does not like authority figures. Number two, on the McMillan Estates with the mines, there was a mass murder occurring. Mm -hmm. Who's going to investigate a mass murder? The Popo. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Tap is on the scene. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll get, yeah, we'll, we'll get, I'll go with you with that. We can have the police showing up to a mass murder and all, everybody just dies. That's cool. And according to the lore, Detective Tap has a tendency of going in without uh, telling people where he's That's going. That's true, or, he does. You know, appropriately following the rules. And then so, he regrets like, everything, because... Exactly. Uh, <laughs> is he the only cop character? Because I feel like if there's more, we can just... I think, I think so. We can... I think you're fine. Are there more? Uh, Cammy says Jake escapes sabotaging traps, calling it... <laughs> Uh, which is really interesting because that's how sabotage or saboteur originally worked was geared toward bear traps. Um, I'm trying to think if there, I don't think there's any other characters that are cops, right? Let me look up Bye, the survivors. Have a great time. I don't. Thank you, Alex. Any other? Let's see. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Just Detective Tap. And there are people that I, like, when I think of authority figures, I also think of somebody trying to insert their own authority. Like, so that's, like I have a little, I have a list of uh, authority figures. Okay. I also have uh, somebody who I think is going to die to his, uh, his spidey senses when somebody's planning something against him. Titan, so. Titan thinks that Detective Tap would die second after getting someone else killed, which is also quite to the story. Possibly. But it could also be an instance of, like, if he had sent somebody in to investigate because he was, you know, getting a little sus and that person's already dead in the mine. I like mean, it could have been like we could do we could do everyone character. a favor, and uh -huh. just say Ash happened to be on the side on like on the scene, um, <laughs> for no other reason than Ash just happens to be in inconvenient places a lot, and he's there. I have he I dies. have him on my list of people that is going to die later. Okay. I, I absolutely like, he is absolutely on my list of I was gonna say nobody gonna get nobody's in. gonna miss him if Ash goes first. Yeah. Alright, so you didn't have a first dead. So tap dies an investigation. So for whatever reason, the rest of these little shits show up to, you know, go and see what the fuck happened in Murderland. And here we are. Anyone we want to save for last survivors? I have, for my final survivors, uh, Jeff, Kate, Claudette, and Yui. For my potential, my potential endgame people. Cool. I'm going to put only Mia. I can't fight that. I mean, I'm not going to, but... <laughs> May I also remind you, Nia is in fact the entity. <laughs> okay, that makes it harder because that's the authority. <laughs> I know. Party in the woods near the old mine. Ooh, that's a good setting. Oh. Out in shelter woods. I hope some people go to party. I like that. All right, so we got Detective Tap dead investigating the scene of a mass murder. Now, if everybody's going to a murder party, I would like to go ahead and meet Ash and say he got shit faced, took a piss, and he is the porta potty death of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody's at a party in the woods. 
a big old get together uh and ash is second to go just shit faced dies in the woods i feel like at this point like after after claudette i feel like we have to have a mandatory dies during peeing like somebody goes out to take care of the business wait Death. okay oh yeah so ash dies in the back like Ash is our is our, our supporter potty death of the day. <laughs> okay, so he dies shitting in the tall grass. Yes, that's what you're yes, saying. He, does. <laughs> he goes to shit in the tall grass, bear trap in the ass. Actually, Hi Ash yo. is safe. He left the party. <laughs> we got to talk about Robin. I'm so <laughs> I'm so sorry to tell you, Robin, bestie. I don't know how to break the news. Um, <laughs> there was a bear trap in the tall grass. Unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. Rip. Okay. Uh... So, obviously, I think there is also a huge risk of having everybody together in a party because, I mean, Trapper isn't afraid to murder multiples at once. Right. So, that is, is... Yeah, not... they're gonna split up quick. Yeah, splitting up again is, or yeah, splitting up is probably for the best. Like, opposite strategy from Huntress. Mm -hmm. Similar to Oni, where they're just better if they separate. I feel like Ash well, falls Oni, face Oni, first Oni, into the bear came trap. together and finally took him down, but uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens with, with, our, with our trapper boy. Um... So we need a uh, an event that causes everybody to split, which I think is going to be an instance of... Or at least uh, fracture so... into smaller groups. Yes. If we can get them into groups, that'll be a way. So I feel like nobody's really... Like, everybody's just going to think that Ash just passed out in the tall grass. I don't think anybody's going to go looking for <laughs> Ash. Sorry to all the Ash holes out there. I don't think anybody's going to go look for him. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Lukey suggests if it's a party, Nancy and Steve have a little drink and slip away for some alone time, which oh. is a very, very popular horror movie trope. It is. And I am absolutely down for supporting that. That right. can be now or that can be later. Well, I feel like that would actually make people go out and look at them. So, I mean, <laughs> nobody looks for Ash, but they're like, where'd Steve and uh, Nancy go? Yeah. Would they, or would they just be like, where'd Steve and Nancy go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, if they're gone long enough, and if Nancy's gonna scream. Oh, yeah. And, like, well, <laughs> they'll, they'll both scream, but, um. The moment Steve gets stuck in a bear trap. They'll hear like, Steve. Wonk. They'll, they'll, they'll hear, hear Steve's scream easily. <laughs> Yeah, he is a, he is louder than Nancy. One way or another, they're gonna hear Steve scream. <laughs> uh, so that's going to trigger uh, a small search party, at the very least, which I think is going to be how David and Bill, our our beloved Billson, our Bilbo, is is gonna get wrecked. I feel like the bravest would go out to find them. Right? Uh, either the bravest or the stupidest. So Bill and David, I agree. Yes. Uh, um, I know she's on your short list, but Yui? Yeah, Yui, Yui would probably go out. She doesn't have to die here. I mean, she could just go out to try to find them and... <laughs> she's going out to keep David from doing something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, they go out to try to find out what happened to Steve, Nancy, potentially Ash. They might think, like, while we're out here. They, they might stumble on him, just like... <clears throat> oh, they find Ash's sitting... body? Yeah, he's just sitting in a bear trap dead. <laughs> just the, the smell of shit everywhere. <laughs> Titan thinks Jake would wander off into the woods, and Yui goes out and is the only one who makes it. That Yeah, that's what I'm I thinking. Yeah, I was actually thinking that our, our loners are going to start leaving at this point. So 
So I think I think Jake would probably peace out, but he, I don't think he would die at that point, though. Yeah, I don't think Jake. Honestly, Jake was also like I considered for the shortlist of last survivor. Yeah. So I was like, if anybody can like make it in the woods and avoid bear traps, it's our boy Jake. Can I put him on the shortlist? Yeah. Okay, so who dies after Steve and Nancy? Do we want to go with David? David? Because if, if there's drinking involved in that group, then David's probably also shit-faced, <laughs> is gonna see Trapper out there in the woods and be like, you know what? I'm gonna fight him. <laughs> Them's fighting words, and Trapper didn't even say anything. It was just the breathing. <laughs> So David dies trying to fight Trapper. Um, Bill, Yui... Bill dies trying to save David. Oh, Probably gets see... stuck in a bear trap. No, okay, yes, that's what I was thinking. I imagine this scene of David just gets macheted right through the torso. And then uh-huh. Bill and Kate, or not Bill and Kate, uh, Bill and Yui are like, holy shit, try to run. And Bill gets caught in a bear trap and he's just like, leave me behind to tell the others. Yeah. Yep. All right, so uh, Bill dies learning the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so see if Yui I can... survives to get back to the others. Jake has peaced out. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. So now, Boop. let's see who else is in here. Let's see. Kate is by the campfire singing and guitaring for the people. Drunken dare yes. for some survivors to explore the mines and Trapper gets them there. Ooh. That's definitely how Ace dies. A hundred percent. If somebody's could, just like a, de- a bet or a dare, Ace would be totally game. This is another one. We can off a couple people at once if... Yeah. I think Elodie would go if she was dared. Because I think she would just be like, yeah, I'm not afraid. I've been in worse. <laughs> also, you know, looking for, for uh, occult shit. Sight yeah. of a mass murder. Maybe not even occult. Maybe she's just like, I bet I'd find something cool down there. Yeah, I'll go. Also, yes. <laughs> so. Ace. Elodie. Do we want one or two more to go? Titan, Zoot, and Quentin. Uh, I am not... I I actually have uh, uh, something I think that will happen to Quentin. Okay, we'll save Quentin. In my brain. Also, I, I think Quentin's a bit of a bitch, so I don't think... I bet go. they could convince Dwight. If nothing else, they're gonna shove them in there. I bet. I bet Dwight would be like, no. And they're just like, get the fuck in there. Bye, Absolutely <laughs> gets bullied into going. Okay. Do we want a fourth? Do we want to just clear clear the field here? Do, do we have one more person that might take the bet? Hmm. I'm, like, debating on Felix going in just to be, like, make sure that Elodie is safe. But I also feel like he has such, like, he has kind of an iffy... Yeah, I feel like he's too her. he's too cautious to... Adam's not gonna go. Meg, maybe. Yeah, Meg might go. I think Meg, of who we have left, is the most likely. Meg or Cheryl. I think it's going to be Meg. I feel like Cheryl is smart enough not to fuck with this shit. <laughs> like, Cheryl's just like, oh, oh, no. <laughs> All right. Perfect. That is... That has cleaved our group considerably. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's ten of them. We only have, what, 14 left? Um, hold on, maybe Jane or Serena. Felix, but he gets out and tries running back to warn the others. I like the idea of Felix running to tell the others and getting offed by the entrance of the mine. Yeah. Ooh, we could trade Meg for Felix. 
Or if you want to do that, and Felix, make and Felix. Oh, five of them go in. Okay, let's just get rid of everybody. Because I think Felix Dude. would like. I know he's got a strained relationship, but I, he gives me the feels like he might at least check, like sit by the egg, the the entrance or something, and be like, "Oh God, these stupid fuckers." <laughs> Felix isn't dared. He just decides to tag along. Okay. Yeah. I'm down with that. Those feels. I'm down with that. Which means we have left Claudette, Nia, Laurie, Feng, Quentin, Kate, Adam, Jeff, Jane, Yui, Zarina, Cheryl, Yunjin. Okay, so at this point, Yui probably comes back and is like, holy shit, guys. Something is amiss. At which point somebody's like, we gotta go to the mine and get those other fuckers yes. out of there. Which is where our next group probably gets obliterated. Or, well, uh, uh, okay, so how so? Because they would see Felix's dead body outside of the mine, right? And then uh, I think at that point they would assume the others are probably dead, not worth going inside the mine. Yes, but if you are going with the drama aspect, Madame, we need <laughs> to have some sort of drama in this horror movie, you know that those fucker, like there's going to be one guy, the one responsible person runs out there, sees it, goes, <gasps> turns around, bam, there's the killer with loud horror noise that jump scares the audience. Yes. And that will be, it has to be a scream queen. So we got Laurie or Kate, I would say one of them. I'm gonna go with Lori. That is my vote. All right, Lori dies to dramatic screen queen moment. <laughs> yeah, Meg Meg died real fast. <laughs> what did you walk into, Senny? We're deciding how everybody dies in a horror movie against Trapper. <laughs> Okay. And my just my justification for that is I feel like at this point Yunjin's probably doing her uh you know, I I tell everybody what to do. Mm -hmm. And while I think Kate like she might try and tell Kate to do it, I feel like Kate's probably just gonna look at her like No. Do I look dressed for this? I'm in booty shorts, ma'am. <laughs> I feel like Kate definitely does. I mean, like she doesn't get pushed around easily. Yeah, she's one right. that like she could stand up to Yunjin, Yui and Zarina, all stand up to Yunjin. I'm sure Bill probably actually stands up to Yunjin. He just never lives long enough to get to that moment. Yeah, poor guy. <laughs> we kill him so early. I know every time. Okay. So. Yeah, I think I think Lori is probably one of the only ones she could probably bully, if nothing else, because she's you know she's younger and not as experienced. Even though she had the, you know, the lore saying she was had the Mike Myers incident. I mean, if nothing else, she'll probably be like, "Well, you're the only one that's that's prepared for this. You've experienced it before." <laughs> She would be screaming like an anime girl and run away from Trapper with an anime theme song in the background. <laughs> um, okay. I feel like at this point, uh, Jake probably has a ballpark idea that something's amiss since he's probably like, he's probably that guy out there like, bear trap? This is dangerous. Boop! Bear trap? Fuck, that's the second bear trap. Boop! <laughs> disabled. Like, just slowly just yeah, he's them apart. he's like finding all these bear traps and like this could hurt somebody and disabling them. Uh, he knows it's not like bear hunting season. There's no bears actually in this area. Why are there bear traps to begin with? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I feel like that's probably what's going to get him killed is that Trapper just follows the line of disabled traps. <laughs> uh <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I sure hope no big strong trapper catches me out here touching all of his traps. What a horrible thing this would be. Oh god. 
Uh... Oh man. Yeah, see so just if you go far enough out into the woods, you just find a bear trap with with trickster laying next to it, so you have your thirst trap. <laughs> just lounging. Oh man. Uh let's see, hold on. Uh Linky says Yinjin inexplicably leaves halfway through the movie because the actress got cast in a higher paid movie and she can't be at arts with this low budget bullshit. <laughs> Oh, and instead he says, please, David be the one saying, let's split up. He's that kind of guy. He, yeah, David would be that guy. He is also already dead. <laughs> yeah. He tried to fight the trapper. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the one that's going to say, let's split up, might actually be Yunjin. To be, like, trying to set it up so that she has the best possible uh, group with her, with the people that she thinks are going to get her killed off on their own. Mm -hmm. like push the the liabilities out of the group Ooh, i like this okay wait do i need to put jake down for dead i mean we can put him before or after i mean jake's gonna go down and i think it is gonna be the the literal line of disabled traps leading directly to him <laughs> got it <laughs> no a big strong trapper <laughs> Oh, poor Jake. <laughs> okay. And then... So at this point, Yinjin is suggesting everybody separates. She wants the strongest yeah. with her, is what you're saying? She wants whoever whoever Yinjin would think is going to get her through this alive. So we also need to figure out who she thinks is a liability. I think she would think Claudette is a liability, but... She would be like, you're the only one that if I get hurt, can help me. True. Or she'd also be like, plant girl, you know your way around the woods. <laughs> Claudette's just looking at her like, no. <laughs> oh, and Jake is the character he think lived, but we see die in the end credits to show the killer is still out there. Ooh. Can we let Jane make a voice report of her seeing something and then it just cuts off? Ooh, I like that yeah. too. So, okay. what I was thinking is that Quentin, since it actually mentions in his lore that he tends to come up with plans, like try to set up traps, he's going to be like, hey guys, maybe we should, and then Yunjin's going to be like, and you're in group two. We should... <laughs> It's just like we're gonna trap the trapper. <laughs> yes. Okay, so hold on. I actually I have two columns here. Let me do this. So we have Yinjin's group and we yes. have Quentin's group. Yes. Quentin tries to speak up this one time <laughs> and she's like, and you go over there. <laughs> okay, so who's gonna be in and Yinjin. Claudette's gonna be in Yinjin's group, right? Yeah, she's probably gonna take her. Okay. Um, Where, who, she might take Jeff because he's a big boy. Ah, uh, big strong man. You can yeah. fight him. She doesn't care if he actually can or not. Uh, I think probably Quentin would, because... would take Feng. Yeah, she probably doesn't want the young kids. So the teenagers, she's probably gonna try and kick out. So uh, uh, Cheryl... Cheryl and that's it that's our only teenager and, yeah you're all saying quentin <laughs> just eating the teenagers and they're gonna be like we can't just send them off by themselves <laughs> then we get our adult quentin escapes because trapper walks into his own trap <laughs> nia is still alive yes so oh who would nia be grouped with i feel like nia's just sitting there watching everybody like nia is not participating but she'll follow a group Okay. I feel like she's going to sneaky snake behind them. Um, But Quentin's group needs a designated adult. Which I feel like Adam might volunteer. Yeah, I was thinking Adam. Okay. Uh, which group would Kate fall into? Hmm. I think that Kate's going to be thrown with Quentin because Yunjin doesn't want to have to deal with the Somebody who won't listen to her. Yeah. 
I think Kate done pissed her off. Possibly the same with Jane. I don't think Jane would listen to Yinjin either. Probably not. Man, Yinjin's group's gonna be real small because <laughs> nobody's gonna deal with their crap. Um, what about Zarina? Again, I don't think Zarina would put up with Yinjin's crap. Hmm. All right. I so mean, then Yinjin just goes off with. Uh... I would say we could put Nia with the Yinjin group if we want an even split. But yeah. if we're okay with an odd split, we can just chuck Nia over here with the teens. I still, I still think Nia's going to be sneaking, so she might go with the smaller group just to be less noticed. Okay. You know, so if if uh, in the event that something needs tagging... Um, <laughs> wait, wait, just, wait. Big know. question, actually, before we group Nia. Does anybody know, like, where they are in the mines... Does anybody know like the history of the mines that there like was a mass murder or anything like that? Is that something that Zarina might know just from yes. like a documentary perspective or Adam as a teacher or? Well, we're assuming that the mass murder occurred and that's why uh, Tap went to investigate. Yeah. So I feel like it would be common knowledge at this point. But the mass murder would have been at least long enough ago that they would have felt comfortable partying yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you would say common knowledge? Yeah, I would say that there knowledge. was a murder. But that any there was a murder. But would anybody know more details about like, oh, we sus they suspect that it was the coal miner's son or anything like that? Maybe. I think they said that they suspected him, but they never found him because that's when the entity right. scooped him. Um So what I'm asking is who would be the ones who would be the one to like know kind of those more more urban legend details <laughs> let's say Elodie but she's gone now <laughs> I know um I feel like Serena probably would be the one to know okay because why I'm asking is you know that exposition moment of all the movies where they're like so imagine a scene they're walking through the woods and they're just like yeah this uh the rumor has it, or this might be the killer everybody always talked about, the the miner who killed his father and all the other miners and everything, and, like, telling the whole, like, urban legend mm -hmm. of Evan McMillan. Nia, just with her AirPods, listening to music. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't know what's going on. She's just, she's just coming with the gang. Ooh, Elodie could have told someone while telling ghost stories around a fire. Oh. That too. That could have happened earlier. Yeah. Quentin's group probably ends up hiding in the estate and figures out who Trapper is. Mm -hmm. You should do this with Legion next time. We're going to go through all the killers. Yeah. We were going to do Plague this week, but then the tome just came out. So we're going to give that a couple weeks um, to get more lore about Plague before we cover her. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have our two groups here. Yes. This is going to be fun. So we have Yinjin's group walking through. Yinjin thinks everyone's there to protect her. <laughs> Zarina probably knows more of, most, more of the backstory than anyone else. Kind of talking more about the whole history of the mines and everything. And I wonder if it's... What was his fucking name? Alfred or whatever. McMillan. It started with an A or something. I forget his dad's name. Oh, I, I, I've already forgotten. Thank you, Sunny. I feel like I should know. Let me let me uh do a quick look see. <laughs> Let's say I can, but Let's see. Yanjin falls off a cliff, doesn't even die to the killer. <laughs> Archie. Archie, that's what it was. Here we go. Okay, so Quentin. Waited four months. The reason why I think Quentin is toast. Thank you, Martin. Is because of the mention of Trapper's trap sense. <laughs> that somebody's uh, planning to do something to set up a trap. He has the the sense 
Okay. So if they do indeed decide that they are going to go into the the actual building, the estate, and set a trap to try and lure him in, then he's going to be like, my spidey senses are tingling. So and that's he's going to start going through uh, the group. So group B actually goes to the estate. Yes. And there they're like, oh, we can trap this guy. Quinn yeah. starts forming the plan. Trapper shows up. Yes. It's going to be a home alone situation. <laughs> and probably using Kate as, as like up on the, the top floor, just playing the guitar Kate. loud enough for him to hear. <laughs> they're like, Kate will be bait. <laughs> yeah, Kate bait. Um, Does she die as bait? I think she's going to make it. Okay. And the only reason that Kate gives me the the vibe that she's going to make it is that Trapper seems to have a soft spot for his mom. And I feel like Kate kind of gives off a mom vibe. So he might leave her alone. Okay. Do we have any inclination as to what Trapper's mother looks like? Maybe we have a... You're my mom, so I spare you situation toward the end. We don't. He's drawn a picture of her, but they don't put the picture in the right. wh whatever you call it. Archives. Traps are Claudette's enemy. <laughs> it's true. If Claudette isn't dead, Claudette is still alive. Uh, she should be the one that got away in the mine by hiding. The one that got out of the mine was actually Felix, but he got off very shortly after <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so Quentin tries to do the Home Alone thing. Trapper's like, no, you're not setting traps on in my face. Kills Quentin. Yeah. Um. Kate was going to be bait. She gets spared. Yeah, I think she's, like, she's the top, like, in, the maiden in the top tower, literally there <laughs> to make the sound to draw him in. Like, to make him aware that somebody is in his house. Oh yeah, Yui is still alive. Thank you, Titan. Where is Yui? Oh fuck. Um. <laughs> uh... Yinjin would have wanted her. <laughs> yeah. But would she have stayed with Yinjin? Let's see. Is there anybody in Group B that would piss off? Yui. No. Not in the way that I think I love that we have a hand head cannon that like Yui and J and Yinjin are just mortal enemies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but would she also be willing to go along with a trapping situation? Like no. one's like, okay, we're going to go and try and trap lure him in and trap him. Whereas Yui feels more like a, you know, no, if we're gonna fight this guy, let's at least, you know, beat his ass. Face to face. <laughs> no, she wouldn't do that either. She saw she saw David get his ass kicked. She saw David take a machete to the chest. She's not going to say, let's fight him. Actually, you know what? She might go along with the plan to try and trap him. She's like, yeah, we're not going to fucking fisticuffs this dude. Like, I'm going to put her with Team Quentin. She's, she's, she can die here if we want. If, if she gets involved setting traps, mm -hmm. then... Uh, that's a reason for Trapper to kill her. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 accept Yui. Yui bites it. We could also have another reason why Kate might be um surviving is possibly she ends up in Trapper's mom's old room. Maybe. We gotta get that mom drama. <laughs> The mom has been mentioned. The mom drama must be present. <laughs> okay. Give me the give me the good mama drama. Okay, so Fang is not good at hiding. Not at all. She's so loud. <laughs> yeah. So he's just she's probably like helping set the trap, got all the traps set up, and goes to hide the moment he just goes and just cleaves Quentin's head clear off of his head. What he probably is going to trap him though, you know, just catch him in a trap and just shake his head. <laughs> Fang his head off. The Fen's trying to sneak around gets caught in a trap. Yeah. 
Okay, I think I could also see somebody trying to hide in the basement, and then he just locks it. And lets yeah, him die but like his dad. Yeah, but we already killed Nancy, so true. <laughs> Claudette is the one that would have in this place, but she's not in this group. So Quentin, Yui, and Fang are down, so that leaves Cheryl and Adam. I think at this point in the film, we should transition back to Group A. Yes. So Group A. I think that Yunjin will step in a trap, not paying attention. Mm -hmm. And no one is strong enough in this group to actually pry it open. I think or, Jeff actually would be strong enough. Or she'll get mad because he's like, okay, well, if you if I pull this off, I need to get your shoe off or something. She's like, this shoe cost me $3,000. Uh, okay, Senny okay, said Trapper go. has flashbacks to his mother with one of the survivors because of the way they are or something. And the survivor uses it to run. That's how Kate got out of the trapper situation. Yeah. Jeff dies right after getting the trap off Yinjin. <laughs> I think Jeff's going to make it because of the sketch connection. Ooh, because they're both artists. Mm -hmm. I like that. Like, he might, like, you know, do the dramatic, you know, swing of the machete, and then <sighs> Jeff barely, like, gets back and, like, cuts a part of his shirt open and just reveals all these wonderful tattoos, <laughs> and Trapper's just, like, daddy remember when i first learned about the perk aftercare and i was like oh yes. jeff's into some bdsm shit and then turns out he just really liked tattoos and i was like oh that kind of aftercare i understand now i read that lore waiting for something just just something and it never happened mm -hmm. okay yeah. So Yinjin gets caught in a bear trap. Jeff's trying to help her out. Uh, does Trapper want to do his thing where he lunges the machete first into the bear trap instead of hitting Yinjin, though? He hits Jeff? Or? I still... So long as he doesn't hit Jeff. I really okay. think that the that drawing thing, the sketching, is, is gonna be the thing. It might hit Zarina. So, oh, we could have Zarina helping Yunjin. That helped. That works. Yeah, like, Jeff is trying to pull it off and fumbling because she's bitching about her shoe, and Zarina's like, all right, fuck it, let me do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, after he downs Zarina, just immediately Yunjin's right there. She gets offed. Yeah, everybody else is like, time to leave. <laughs> Bye, guys! So, the rest of them, do we want them to just, like, scatter and run, or...? Hmm. They might. Oh, let me tell you my plan with Nia. I know okay. I wanted to save her for the end. Here's what- okay. Here's the thing that I'm imagining, just for pure cinematic drama. He hates socialists communists mm -hmm. his dad ran a mining industry absolute entrepreneur capitalist scum willing to let people literally die just so he could make money nia the most anti-capitalist character in the game i need them to have a face-off moment i need the message of capitalism will never win. <laughs> Coming from the end of this movie, I need Nia to destroy him somehow. <laughs> I think I think this can happen. Okay, this that's what I'm I'm wanting out of Nia's whole p part of her just like burning down his home or something in the end, just. <laughs> Okay, so I'm I'm going to say let's let's have the three of them scatter. Okay. And then move back to group B. Okay. Now at that point, since they scattered, do we want at least one of them to appear back with group B? 
You mean group A? Wait, oh yeah, a group A scattered, have them appear with group B is what you're saying? Yeah, like they're like, fuck, my t- my entire group got obliterated, but I know they're in that building. The other people, like, going and running to them for safety. I would vote Nia then. Nia's gonna go to them for safety? No, maybe not for safety, but just, she knows, I, well, I guess, yeah, kind of for safety. She knows they're there. And okay. also, it, it would put her at the house to give an opportunity to burn it, right? Like... <laughs> I don't think she's going to burn it. I think she's going to tag the fuck out of it. Okay, we're going to send Nia back. She's going to find all of his taped up old sketches and just draw peens on every last one of them. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) Nia's also an artist, if you think about it. Yeah. That moment of, that moment of we're not, yeah, the moment of we're not so different, are we? And she's like, fuck you, capitalist scum. Spray paints him in the eyes. He's blind. (laughs) He's swinging wildly. She trips him. He falls onto his own machete. (laughs) Wow. Okay. I was thinking if she's, if she's tagging stuff, she's just gonna like, you know, We'll we'll get to her. Okay, 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 yeah, yeah, we'll get there. I'm I'm feeling it in my soul. It's bubbling up now. Okay, Nia will move over to group B. She's she's gone to the estate to find the others. Nia's already dead, so you gotta bump her out of there. Mm. Thank you. Um so I feel like Adam probably took Cheryl to go hide somewhere. Kate is like sitting up in that room, like, what in the fuck just happened? Sizzler, like the trapper walks in and then just leaves and Kate's just sitting there with her guitar like what why what really happened was he stood there for like 10 minutes staring at her uncomfortably <laughs> but there was actually a whole flashback as I think it was Senny it was Senny or Titan your guys are both the same color Senny as Senny said earlier just flashbacks memories of his mother from like so much long ago and uh, memory of him drawing that picture, holding his crayons like this, and his father framing it, and like just remembering the picture above his father's bed, and <laughs> and then it just ripple effects back to Kate's face, and then he leaves, and she's just, what the fuck? Because <laughs> she really thought she was going to die. <laughs> so I feel like. At this point, Nia is going to get with everybody and tell them what happened with the other group. And they're like, fuck, we need to get out of here. And Nia is going to be like, just a moment. And goes up and just starts tagging the fuck out of everything. There are peens everywhere. Like, she has literally coded this place with everything she could find. Oh, yeah. And then comes back downstairs and asks Adam if she can borrow his lighter. (laughs) <laughs> not to not to burn the place but for later okay is this gonna be like the forest yes <laughs> okay i won't spoil it for everyone else but i know where you're going okay which so these four will eventually leave which we need to decide if claudette and jeff will also like would they also start heading back towards the building or would they die out there i think they would actually head back to the party site of the they go to the party site because they might think that maybe the others went back <laughs> maybe but Clinton said he was gonna go trap the the house why would they think everybody uh, would true. go back that's fair Titan said that Yui died and wanted her to have a motorcycle rescue <laughs> maybe next time Titan maybe <laughs> Maybe when we go to a place with the auto yard. Ooh, that would be actually really fucking cool. Because she can probably jury rig something together. (laughs) So I think everybody comes back together. Our final group of six. Okay. So all six of these are together. And they are like, we need to go. We need to get out of here. So... How are they going to get out? I don't think Trapper's going to go for Kate. No, I think Kate's pretty safe. In the event that something happens with Jeff, I think he's going to see his his sketchbook or his tattoos and hesitate long enough for him to get out. 
Claudette, I just don't see him as seeing her as a threat. I think, because none, none of these are very authoritarian figure types, right? Right. But of them, I think Adam is the most. And yeah. I could see if Trapper showed up, Adam even hesitantly standing up to him. I mean, At least to give the others time to get away. Yeah. Because he's kind of the adult in the room right now. He has that too. There's Jeff, who is older, but <laughs> Adam is in fact the adult in the room. Yes. Okay. So they all get back together. Uh, They're trying to figure out how they're going to get out, right? Trapper yeah. shows up. Adam stands up to him. He dies being the hero. I feel like Cheryl might try and stay with him. Because in the house, I think he tried to get her to safety. And so she feels like a connection to him. A blood pact, if you will. <laughs> oh, look at that! <laughs> Adam is a teacher. He's good at wrangling random people. Yes. Okay, so you think Cheryl's gonna die? Yeah. We can't leave him behind. That would be how Jeff escaped. Jeff, Jeff steals Yui's bike and leaves. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Okay. Ah, I can't delete Cheryl. Okay. Which leaves their final group of four. Yes. Which I think at this point, they're going to peace out. Like, they're going to try and leave. Oh, yeah. And obviously Trapper is not going to be okay with this. Now, the question is, does anybody get off on the way out? Because I think Kate is going to be safe. Yeah, I think Kate is pretty much a guaranteed uh, she's going to live through this. Again, we want, like I said, I just want the, I want Nia to somehow kill Trapper. I, and just... I feel like Kate is nice enough to recognize Claudette's awkwardness and might try and, you know, mom her out of there. You know, throws out the mom arm, grabs her, and pulls her out of the way of a trap, and is like, come on, honey, pay attention, let's go. <laughs> and Claudette's just, you know, sticking with her. Like, finally has a friend figure. Mm -hmm. I'm imagining Trapper being distracted by Kate again, having more flashbacks, and Nia seizes that as the opportunity to attack. Yeah, they are they are getting close to the exit, they're getting ready to get out. And the last thing Trapper sees as he comes out of his little reverie is just Nia standing there with a lighter and she flicks it up with her middle finger and hits the hairspray. That's really <laughs> awkward. The, the pink spray <laughs> and just sets that asshole on fire. <laughs> okay, do we and want... Then, and then that's, that is it. She kills him with a lighter and her spray paint. Okay. So, Jeff is making it out, too. Jeff's not going to die on the way out. Yeah, I figured if if anything, if Jeff got caught by Trapper, I think he would hesitate with the drawings and the the tattoos. If he had enough time for Jeff, but I think that at this point, Nia is well-armed enough and pissed enough, <laughs> having gotten the gotten the idea that these are a bunch of, you know, assholes, both from the... the uh, the story Nin having been 19th like, century yeah capitalist scum the reason we have labor laws entirely <laughs> type of yes. scum okay and then uh titan pointed out claudette can get injured and kate does the armor on the shoulder carry you to safety thing which i do like that like if claudette yeah. gets caught in another bear trap and that's like that intense moment of we gotta get her free yeah they they manage to get her free, and then it's just a, a race to just get out of the woods, get back to, like, their cars or whatever. Yeah. yeah, I think Kate has become the mom. Yes. At this point. She's Which is friend. appropriate, because Trapper does also think of his mom when he sees her. Mm-hmm. Those mo That big mom energy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And if nothing else, Kate can try and, like, get caught out out of there and then Jeff's just like fuck it picks her up and they just start running <laughs> so they're running Trapper finds them along the way 
just as they're about to get out, stalls because he sees stall. Kate. Yeah, sees Kate. Mia Kate sees and or Jeff's drawings. Yeah, I think Kate. I think that's more cinematic. And then Mia just nukes the some bitch with a middle finger flick in the lighter. Yes. Even while he's on fire, if he drops his machete, I still imagine her taking it and just stabbing him straight through the gut. Oh yeah. Very well, maybe easy. not through the gut. I think she might she might hit him in the in the nard. Thank you so much, Raven. You know. That way if he uh, well, if she's he trying survives, she's trying to kill reproduce. him. She's gonna kill him. She's gonna go for the gut. Well, you can kill somebody and make them suffer, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the gut. They're not gonna die instantly, but they will die. <laughs> okay, so Jeff, Kate, Claudette, and Nia. Uh we never figured out what happened to Jake. <laughs> Did we? Yeah, we did. No? Okay, yeah, he is there. Oh, no! A no, big right. strong trapper! Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I'm gonna clip that later. <laughs> Let's see. Trapper is Alex, set ablaze, Jake, visions Jake of his mother. Died. Jake died a long time ago. I'm sorry, dear. It sounds off back to the mines to recover just in time for his sequel. Ooh. They think he's dead. They burnt Trapper. They shoved his machete through his chest. But he's got, like Luki says, he's gone back to the mines to recover for the sequel. <laughs> oh no. Okay. So do we want to do the rundown? Yes. Of how the movie played out? Yep. There was a big mass murder. And Detective Tap and the other cops are said to go investigate the scene of the mass murder and die. Fast forward through time. Bunch of people are out there in the woods having a party. Ash gets shit faced, goes to take a shit in the tall grass. He's we gone. I don't even know why he's there. Nobody knows why he's <laughs> no there. No one actually invited him. <laughs> he just showed up. They don't actually realize he's gone. Nancy and Steve and go and have some alone time. Wink wonk. Uh people actually do notice they're gone. <laughs> Because of the scream. Steve's because, scream. Because of Steve's scream, yes. Uh, so that means David, Bill, and Yui go out to try and find Steve and Nancy. They discover Ash's body and they're like, what a shame. And they keep going. <laughs> Robin invited Ash. I understand now that makes sense. Yeah, everybody just looks at Ash and goes, does anybody know him? Shrug. <laughs> Poor Ash. <laughs> Uh, so they go out to try to find them. Uh, they, along the way, discover the trapper. David tries to fight him, takes a machete straight to the chest, and Yui and Bill go to run. Bill gets caught in a bear trap. There's no way Yui can free him in time. He knows that. She regrets knowing that. And he says, I'll be fine. Go tell the others. And Yui takes off running to tell everyone else. Bill was not, in fact, fine. <laughs> Ash is the guy who graduated four years ago but hangs out at parties because college girls never age like the creepiest. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> true. God love Ash. Uh, meanwhile, back at the party, Ace, Elodie, Meg, and Felix get dared to go into the mines. Dwight gets bullied to join them. <laughs> uh, Ace, Elodie, Dwight, and Meg die in the mine we're assuming trappers somehow is in two places at once <laughs> i'm not gonna question uh, our logic hey he does use uh sticks of diamond dynamite he could have a timed thing or a motion trigger Ooh, motion trigger okay let's go with that uh felix manages to get out somehow um but right at the exit he gets caught by a trapper and dies um yui gets back to the party to tell the others what she just witnessed, finding Ash's body, seeing David die, who they're up against. The others are like, we gotta go find the people in the mine. They take off running. Um, do you want to describe Lori's dramatic scream queen moment again for me? Uh, well, first off, everybody doesn't go. It oh, was yeah. Yunjin saying, somebody should go, and looks at, like, Kate, and Kate's just like, nah. <laughs> so then she bullies Lori into doing it, because... You know, everybody's talked about their background, and Yunjin has not gotten around to talking about Trickster yet. 
but Lori, you've lived through this kind of thing before. You'll be fine and makes her go. So she goes out, she goes to the mine and sees them and is like, <gasps> turns around and Trapper's right there. And we get our dramatic scream queen moment. Perfect. Um, Jake actually pieced out a little while ago. We forgot to mention. Yeah. Um, he's been finding some bear traps all around the place, which was really weird, but he's been disabling them because he knows how. Um, and Trapper's been following his traps. Seeing they're disabled, knowing someone's sabotaging them, finds Jake, kills him. Uh... Let's see. Now that they know that the people they dared to go in the mine are dead, the group splits off. We had... Who did we have? We had Quentin, Yui, Feng, Adam, Cheryl, Cheryl. and Kate in one group. Yeah. And then we had uh, Zarina, Yinjin, Jeff, Claudette, and Nia in the other. Mm -hmm. Quentin decide Quentin's group goes to the trapper's home. They decide they'll they'll build a trap to trap the trapper, mm -hmm. which makes sense in theory. And Yui's like, "Yeah, sounds good. Not gonna fucking fight him. I've seen him." Yeah. Uh, they uh, trapper senses the traps. Yes, he and has, he has the trapper sense like Spider Man has a spidey sense. <laughs> yes, according to lore. So he goes and. Uh, ends up offing Quentin and Yui as they are setting up traps. Feng is trying to sneak around and ends up getting caught and also dies. <laughs> Alex says, that's why I step in every trap as a trapper. <laughs> um, we then... Do, is, does he have the moment with Kate at this point, yeah, or do I think okay. I think he has the moment with Kate at that point, and he leaves entirely. Yes, okay, that's what I was thinking. To the next group, so we go back to the next group. Yinjin actually gets caught in a bear trap. Uh, Jeff and Zarina are both trying to help her out while also salvaging her boots because, God forbid, yes. they get torn along the way, even though they're already in a bear trap. <laughs> yes, so they're trying to free her. Trapper shows up, does his without looking. Quack! <laughs> Nails Zarina. Unfortunately, she's gone. Uh, Yinjin's still caught. She goes ahead. Second swing. Takes out Yinjin. And the, the remainders of the group fucking scatter. Jeff, Claudette, and Nia scatter. Nia actually goes back to the estate because she knows that that is where the other group went. Uh -oh, she gets there and she begins tagging everything. Because she's learned from Zarina as they were just walking through the woods trying to find a way out that uh, Trapper is capitalist fucking scum who was absolutely okay with his father's business and letting people die for the sake of money. How dare he? Yep. Um, so she's wanting to destroy his place. Is Tap dead? Tap was the very first dead. Yeah, Tap, Tap was first man down. Yeah. He has died from a trap from Saul before, and he doesn't learn his lesson. <laughs> <sighs> Poor guy. <laughs> um, let's see. So the those last six, Adam, Cheryl, Jeff, or no, Adam, Cheryl, Nia, and Kate are all together. Jeff and Claudette were kind of roaming on their own. They all get together, all six of them. Finally, they meet up, right? Mm -hmm. And. They're trying to find their way out of the woods, back to, like, the cars that they took or whatever to get to the woods party. I think I think they all met up at the actual house, and they had the conversation, because Nia asks Adam for the lighter. Mm -hmm. And then that's when Key point. Adam is like, all right, everybody should leave. Like, he's going to take his stand in the house so they can get a head start. Oh, I was expecting, I thought, what I was imagining was Trapper already showed up wherever they were, like, trying to, like, they're already, like, on their way out, Trapper shows up, and Adam goes to stand up to him and just okay. dies. <laughs> I thought they were, I thought they were either in or near the house still. I mean, they could still be in or near the house. Like, they could be in the yeah. house trying to formulate a plan to leave, and then Trapper yeah. shows up. But the important thing is, Nia borrows Adam's lighter. Yes. Borrows. 
Yes. <laughs> you can't borrow something if they die. <laughs> um, Cheryl doesn't want to leave Adam. He was protecting her and like t- making sure that everyone was safe earlier. She feels kind of indebted, so she lingers a little bit too long. Trapper catches her. She's gone. The other four are on their way out of the woods. Claudette gets caught in a bear trap. They're rushing to get her out because they know they can't stay here much longer because Trapper's going to catch up to them any second now. The bitch moves 115%, but man, does it fucking feel faster than any other killer. <laughs> like, oh my god. The moment you get stuck in a trap, he's moving way faster than he ought to be. <laughs> like, does he even add on that makes him go like 125 when someone's in a trap? Like, I don't know. I, I He might. I wouldn't doubt it. I need to actually like play killer. Anyway... <laughs> They get Claudette, Claudette out. Kate is is carrying her, trying to help her to walk like just a little bit faster so they can get moving. Trapper does catch up. He sees Kate again. They had a moment. We didn't describe the moment we did when we were talking about it before the recap. The moment they had is Kate reminds him of his mother. Mm-hmm. Um, he saw her the first time. They had flashbacks. He's seen her again. Oh God, she's leaving. <laughs> he he's hesitating. Oh, he's again. No. Oh, no. Stay out of the water. Uh, <laughs> he hesitates when he sees Kate and Nia seizes the moment. Lighter t- flips him off. Spray paint burns him alive. He's flailing, screaming, drops his machete. Nia's the one to pick up the machete and just fucking stabs him through the gut to thinking she killed him. And they run and make their way out and as Luki put it Trapper they think is dead isn't he stumbles back to the mines or to the estate I guess to recover for the sequel yes we have four survivors this time yeah we're doing well with like a bunch of people we need to have one where like it is only one makes it out you know I'm sure it's coming eventually yeah yeah but there they are the, like the only reason i was like i think more than one is gonna get out is just because of the fact that in the lore trapper didn't start out as a bad person so there's going to be multiple factors that i think would have made him hesitate which is why i was like okay it's gonna be jeff and kate and i feel like claudette would make it because she's not an imposing figure mm-hmm. so she's not that much of a threat so I felt like she was going to make it. I like these. Everyone's really excited when we do Legion. They expect they, uh, like he says, I imagine they hunt in packs like Velociraptors. 